I thought he'd never show up. The swill dog. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'd throw up. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles amanus suas. <clears throat> Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious, curious which one of them will puke first. Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you about Mother Church and to show you through my words how she is falling into decay and abandon, how the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. Uh, but I am digressing. How well was to preach about the church? Just as we are commanded to obey the priests in matters of virtue, so are we commanded to defy them face to face if they live contrary to God's commandments. Hear that, Godwin? It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, enemies, injustice, hunger and chaos, failed harvests, Fires, floods, and other catastrophes. And it is all due to um, <clears throat> the corrupt servants of God who do not practice what they preach. They think sins can be washed away by money. And they sell indulgences. And, and that, that's bad. Because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Prague didn't do much for his confidence. And such sins, those who should lead with reason, who should shun debauchery and show the path of righteousness, which is the duty of all priests, instead they indulge in drunkenness and intoxication. Therefore the Apostle says that a bishop may not be a drinker of wine and parish priests must be sober. And it is written that when a bishop is a drinker of wine, he must be deposed and a priest who drinks must be punished or deprived of his priesthood. He's talking about Godwin. For sure he's talking about him, the drunkard. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you pay enough coin to Mother Church. Look at them. They, they, they booze like hypocrites and, and, and buy expensive jewels. They, they, servants of God. And, and, and that is not right, because, because Christ... Preach poverty, and only poverty and temperance are true virtues. Uh, 
and it was almost getting interesting. Hear my word, then. The church is corrupt, and her servants seek their own gain more than the salvation of your souls. A priest who fornicates and indulges in gluttony and intoxication is no priest at all. You would do better to be your own priests, each and every one of you, for you have no need for such Pharisees and hypocrites to attain salvation. Yes, down with the hypocrites, down with Godwin. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Have you no shame, you pair of buffoons? I'll be writing to the bishop of this. For shame. Utterly blasphemous. Can you believe such behavior? For men of the cloth to get drunk at pigs in church. So, is our deal still on? Are you pulling my fucking pizzle? I couldn't have done worse myself if I'd puked on the altar. Well, I'm no preacher. Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. You can't be serious. After all that. All what? All you making a complete hash of my sermon? You were supposed to help, not get me into even more trouble. Now I'll have the bishop on my back and all the villagers. Just leave. I need to pull myself together. And what am I supposed to do? Find someone else to help you. <laughs> 